Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm working on my 2022 Ice Bear Champion. This is a brand new clone of a Honda CT70. And just for kicks and giggles, I started uh, kind of transforming it into a, a, I wanted it to look like a real Honda Trail 70. I'm not trying to fool anybody. Um, I just wanted to see if I could do it. Uh, so I've done a lot of work to the bike. Um, I had to redo the seat latch to get the original style seat latch like a 78 had. Uh, and some other things. I changed the front end, the, put the headlight and the speedometer and so forth. Well, I'm down to just a few finishing touches. And this bike has a Lifen 125 semi-automatic engine in it that has that I've put a TB parts 140 cc top end kit on it a long time ago it's this engine has been in another bike uh, I recently purchased a stator cover here that has that fits the 12 volt Honda bikes and it actually has Honda on it so I believe it's actually was a Honda part if I remember right and just to kind of give it, you know, the more the finished look of, of being a Honda. So today I'm down to, I want to put a, a chain guard on it. And I've got a, a chain guard, an old one that someone down the line has painted a brighter red. Uh, we'll wind up painting it black. And I've, I've got a video early or long time ago, a couple of years ago on the channel from where I did this. But I just thought I'd do an updated version of it. So hopefully you guys don't mind. Um, the first thing I need to do, we're going to utilize the bottom bolt. That, that should work. This has a sharper, I, I want to smooth out this corner. Uh, I think it's going to dig into the cover there. Yeah, that, this little knot right here. So I'm going to just use a flat disc sander. Let's see. I got to get set up to where I can see it. do uh, little bits at a time. I like using those because it doesn't generate a lot of heat, take off a lot of paint. Now, obviously, I'm not worried about the paint on this one, but yeah, that's much better. That gets that little knot that was on there away from the case. Okay, I'm going to stick a bolt in it. think something something like that so we should have clearance here we've just got this spot right here oh <laughs> move it So we'll we'll ease we'll ease into it, take off a little bit at a time. Make sure you guys can see that low down on the table. Nah, you really can't, can you?
gains us, if anything. Okay, I think I want to go a little bit more. My gap, I've got a bigger gap, and then it gets tight up here. Here's where I want it. I'm going to try taking that line off. That doesn't look too bad at all. <clears throat> okay. Seems like it's a little bowed or something that seems like it's a little far away from the cover there. You know what? I think I like that. Just something along those lines. Now, the problem is I got a black marker and I'm marking on a black frame. Now for the upper ones, <clears throat> I'm just going to use these self-drilling screws. We should be well below the tank, so we're not going to drill the tank. I don't think there's a whole lot of wiring or anything back here. We're not going to hit the engine. The frame is doubled up right there. I don't know if you can see all those little dimples where this section of frame and this section of frame have been spot welded together. I'm gonna have to scoot you back so I can get it a better angle. It is 
considerably longer than what I wish I had, but it is what it is. Oh no, the battery's done. the battery died. <laughs> Let's get another battery. I think that's got it. Doesn't look too bad. So obviously I gotta clean it up, paint it to match the bike. I wish this line I wish this didn't curve in so much. I wish I could have had that as a straighter line up through here. So it, but it is what it is. I'm gonna take it. But I like it. It's gonna work just fine and, and give us the, you know, the overall look of what the 78 CT70 had. So I gotta pull it off there. I'll wind up pull, uh, painting it black and clear coating it just like the rest of the bike guys thanks for watching all right there it is with the final paint and clear coat on it it'll dull down a little bit and match the bike after a couple weeks sits in here dust and so forth settles on it the, the paint and the, and the uh, clear coat will will kind of blend in and match the rest it's a little shiny looking now but anyway it i think it just gives the bike a much more finished look and it's a pretty easy project to do if you need to so guys thanks for following see you on the next video